Okay, um, back in the back when I first came with Protection One, you guys, I had the the most blessing. I, I say, if anybody knew who Zig Ziglar is, um, I had went down to San Francisco with the owner McKenzie of Protection One to see a conference with him, and <laughs> believe it or not, they were good friends. That's why I went down there, and I met with um, Zig Ziglar and his wife. At that time, um, he told me a lot of things that I never forget, you guys, and. I want to share something with you. I'm going to teach you the secret of sales the way he taught me. What he said was, Ken, um, there's a secret of sales. Do you want to learn it? I said, absolutely. He said, well, picture this. He said, picture your infomercial. You'll watch your infomercial, right? If you don't like it, you turn it off. Go to another channel. Next time you see the infomercial again, you might like something that it does, right? So you turn the channel again, one night you can't sleep, you watch that whole infomercial, and then you're on the phone saying, how fast can you get it here? Now he asked me, he said, what happened to the time you thought it was a piece of crap to the time you bought it? Something changed. What would you say, Rob? I mean, um, JP? Uh, it's definitely the information that you got. Okay. And what would you say, Robert? You got the same thing. You start getting more information about what it was. Okay, you guys are correct. The secret of sales he taught me is information, you guys. The more information a person has, the easier it is to make a decision, okay? Now, the way we present information, it is no reason why a homeowner shouldn't want to protect their family. And we do more than protection. We provide what? Medical, fire, police, ambush, hostage situations. All those wonderful things, we, we do what is called a nanny program and everything else, but they just don't have the right information to make a decision. Now, what this is, you got to create what I call, what you guys are going to have, is our infomercial. Because what the infomercial does, it gives them enough information to make a decision. Now, going back from the beginning, what I'm going to do, we're going to do the turnaround with JP, and I'm going to go into the infomercial, show you how the infomercial works, okay? You should have it out... Um, on your sheets, if you don't, get the infomercial out so you guys can go word to word. But remember, what it is, it's a building block. It's a building block to get you a sale. If you get the infomercial all the way out, you're probably going to guarantee to get a 100% sale. If you get halfway through it or anything else, you probably have to battle a little bit more, okay? But what it's designed for is to give them enough information at that time to make a decision. Now, you can use this any time in your presentation before or after or at the beginning or toward the end. You could use it as a segment, but it's different parts, but it's a powerful closing tool, okay? Okay, we're gonna start with JP. What we're gonna do, we're gonna floor mat the turnaround with the infomercial. Now the infomercial is vital because what it does is give them enough information to make a decision, okay? Now, you should have this out. Uh, talk to your manager, manager to have the sheet out so we can go over the infomercial. The infomercial is very important, you can use it in any aspect. You can use it at the beginning, in the middle, or you can use it as a close. But what's so important about it is that it's going to explain what we're doing and why we're doing it and what's the benefits are to them, okay? I'm going to use JP. JP going to start with the turnaround and then we're going to go right into the infomercial. Uh, you know what? It's, I'm going to have to pass because uh, it's just not in the budget right now. I can't afford it. Hey, JP, I can, I can understand that, but I can understand right, right now it's kind of hard financially for a lot of people. Would you agree? Absolutely. But let me ask you, if you did have the money for it, it'd probably be something you'd be interested in, wouldn't you? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I know, JP, you've probably seen our TV commercials before, haven't you? Yeah. And you've probably seen the yard signs around here, right? The ADT yeah, signs? Of course. Yeah. Because what's they designed for? Just say if you called off the yard signs or a TV commercial, it's designed to get a salesperson at your home. The same thing like the car dealership, you know how they hold up the little signs and everything else, the little money. Then when you get there, you find out it doesn't this or you need more money down. <laughs> it's, I call it really bait and switch because it's, it's bait to get you there, then they switch the price when you get there, okay? Same thing as the commercials designed for, okay? To get a salesperson at your house. Now, once they come out, they're going to come out with a little demo kit. And because technology has come so far, I mean, laptops and computer, just like laptops, technology is so far, plus in the home family protection plan business, okay? Now, they're going to show you all kinds of different things. They might see your kids come home by, you know, your cell phone. You might even see the nanny patrol. I mean, you can either get the paramedics, police department, fire department, there's a touch of a button. It does all those wonderful things. They're going to show off, okay? You're going to get excited about it. And I guarantee you're going to pay more than $12, $13, $14, $1,500. That's 
that's not even taxes, setup fees, and installation fees. Now, the big difference to me is that I'm in new home advertisement. I'm different than a salesperson. See, I'm going to show you how it works and give you the same kind of equipment, but the difference is I'm going to fill out the same paperwork that a salesperson would do, but where there's tons of fees and charges, I'll put no charge, no charge, no charge, and give you a copy of everything just for advertising for ADT. Now, what did you have to lose? At that point, you wait. Because they're going to make a decision from the information that you just gave them, okay? Now, one of the things that I get mostly is that people just don't believe that it's totally true. So they're going to say, hey, Ken, what's the catch or anything? Matter of fact, don't use Robert. Robert, go ahead. Hey, what's the catch? Nothing's just totally free. <laughs> you right, Robert. It is the catch, okay? Now, the catch is, is that see your neighbor across the way. He has absolutely nothing. If something happens, he's going to call off your yard sign that TV commercial, and who are we going to send out? Agent. An agent, right? Yeah. And he's going to pay $12 or $13, 14 dollars $1, because something didn't happen, right? That's why he's calling, right? Right. So the catch is we're going to use your yard for advertisement. And the difference between you and him is that he's reactive and you proactive. And the big difference now is that I'm going to put maybe a $12, $13, $14, $1, $1,500 check back into your house that you can reinvest just by getting involved with this program. So the, the question you asked was the catch is? The catch is we need you for advertisement. Word of mouth, yard sign, window stickers. If you can do that for us with this certificate, I can turn it with the paperwork and write everything off. That's, That's the it. catch. That's it. That's it. Okay? Now, a lot of times, you guys, this is designed for different things also. If I'm talking to Robert or anything else, and I want to um, talk about the value that a security system will bring to his home, I can tell him, you know, on an upgrade, I say, hey, Robert, this is like an upgrade to your home, right? Yes. Say you get um, tile floors, right? Or granite counters. When the appraiser come in and give you credit for that, right? Yeah. Guess what? We put in a $2,000 system in your house because that's what the appraiser will give you for having a security system. And later on, if you decide to move, we're going to move you to the next house, plus you're going to make about $12, $13, $14, $15 hours back in your wallet just by having this. You see? Yeah. See, it's mostly options and obligation. The next one's we move you anywhere in the United States except Alaska and Hawaii because we don't do igloos and we don't do huts. The third one is we get to um, complete the protection. We get the paramedics, police department, fire department, all those wonderful things. You decide later on you don't want it, you don't have to have it. You've got a full-blown system to go off like crazy because you have full ownership of your system. Okay? Now, that's the value that we do bring up into the system, you guys. You remember, an uh, insurance company will give you up to 20% off your homeowner's insurance for having this, okay? Plus, the fire protection, you probably get a little bit more. Another one is the value that an appraiser would give you for having this, up to $2,000 for having the home security system, Okay? So we have, a, not only does it get the paramedics, police department, and fire department does all wonderful things, but also it brings value to your house. So you're actually making money by having this. So how can you go wrong, and what do you have to lose? Thank you.